I'm Katie Ullman reporting for Katie Chats at the preview screening of the new CBC show Strange Empire. Check it out on CBC this fall. I'm here with actor Aaron Poole. What has been the most interesting aspect of shooting this very gritty, dark uh, western uh, Strange Empire? It's hard to narrow it down to one thing, but I think initially the immersion into the world. We're shooting on the border of Washington and BC, and they've built this incredible village, multiple villages, shanty towns, uh, different cabins, and uh, dirt roads, and we've got chickens and horses running around. So it's the immersion that is, I think, initially it was the most exciting. And your character is a little bit of a bad guy in this story. But you're such a nice person in real life, so how did you get into character? <laughs> uh, well, thank you. Uh, I don't know, for me it's just uh, following my curiosity. I mean, you know, the story gives me free reign to, um, to question everybody around me and to exact, uh, I guess, violence and revenge if required. And so I'm just, I stay curious about it and try to enjoy it. And what's it like working with all of these wonderful women in this almost all-female cast? Yeah, it is largely a female cast. I mean, it's it's not unlike my life. I've got a lot of amazing women in my you life. Have a lot of girlfriends? Oh, no, no. Just, <laughs> I got a, I, I have a lot of women in my life. You know, my mom, my sister. I was with them for a long time alone in the home, and and uh, I, I mean, it, I think it's amazing that strong women are being represented on television. It is not dissimilar, though, from all our lives. We've got plenty of strong women around us, and so it's about time that it's on TV. Absolutely. And What's it like shooting a Western? I mean, growing up, there's so so much hoopla around these Western, the Westerns, uh, cowboys, and all that. So is yeah. it kind of like a fantasy come true for you? Well, it's interesting, yeah. I mean, I think the show itself has uh, elements that are nostalgic of the old Western. I mean, we identify anybody in a hat. We assume we know something about them. You know, like a black hat means a bad guy. Yeah. But what's fascinating about this show is it seeks to rewrite our expectations. It takes the people who were downtrodden in those kind of patriotic westerns of the 50s Americana takes the downtrodden and makes them the heroes. So, and, and, and the bad guys are in a way empathetic. What was interesting for me in accepting the role was that it wasn't just gonna be like a mustache twirling kind of dude. Like they really wanted to understand why he was driven to the violent ends that, that he's driven to. And has there been anything about Canadian history specifically that you've learned through shooting the show? Well, the one thing that I've learned is the the lawlessness that occurred uh, sort of in the late 1860s, just over the border from the states. The states had mobilized, I think, uh, because of the Civil War. They had sort of a, a, a loose law at that point, but Western Canada at that point was still uh, very much a lawless land. And I mean, the RCMP did exist in order to keep the fur traders and the gold miners kind of um, under some kind of, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Anyways, control. Ruling control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but there were large swaths of land that were kind of anything goes. Mm -hmm. And uh, and so the, the show explores kind of the relationship between a quasi law and no law. And where's the best place for us to find out more information on you and on Strange Empire online? Well, uh, you can follow us on Twitter, uh, Strange, I think, at Strange underscore Empire, and I'm at Aaron's Ghost, so you can follow, follow us there. Great. Well, thank you so much. It's nice to see you again, and congratulations. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Thank you. I'm Katie Ullman, reporting for Katie Chats at Soho House in downtown Toronto.